Hey guys, this is Sunday, November 12th, and now we are about to go through the stocks that moved forward um, this last week, which was November 6th through November 10th, and what we should be looking out for coming into this week on um, Monday the 13th and um, Tuesday the 14th if we don't see any changes on Monday. So let's go through what we covered um, this last week, but we like to start with three particular stocks. We like to start with the SPY, which is the S&P 500, the Dow, the, or the DIA, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the QQQ, which is for the NASDAQ, because those three basically represent the entire stock market. So that lets us know which way the market was moving in this last week. And we see for the SPY or the S&P 500 that it moved up last week. I'm going to move our cursor here, it moved up last week, and even though it wasn't much of a move, it moved up this, um, well, it moved up, I should say, two weeks ago, and it moved up this last week as well. Now we look at the DIA, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we see the same thing. It moved up significantly the week prior, and last week it moved up just a little. And NASDAQ, we see a little bit more. It moved up significantly last week, and it moved up a little decent this week that just passed. So let's see what happened with um, some of the stocks on our watch list. We have a number of stocks on our watch list that we're waiting to see when they moved up. And let's see the actions of some of the ones that we're watching this week. So, we have Norfolk Southern Corporation. And for those who aren't aware, Norfolk Southern Corporation is actually a railroad. It's a three-star so the stocks that we have on our watch list, they're broken down into three tiers. I have the three stars, which is the top tier. Those are the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which is a little below that. They're not as fundamentally sound, but they're fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list. And one star, which is the lowest grade of those three tiers, but still fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list. Okay, so Norfolk, Norfolk Southern of Railroad and their top tier, currently at 196.88, um, $196.88 a share. For any of these stocks, guys, if you want the full analysis, personally, I don't buy any stocks where I haven't analyzed them myself, sort of full analysis. So if you want the full analysis, just drop me a comment with the ticker symbol or the name asking me for the analysis, and I'll put it on video and leave it up in the channel for you. And also, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel so that you'll have it when this list comes out. I drop a new one of these every week letting you know what's going on in the markets on our watch list. So please subscribe, please like, all right, and well, like I said, drop the comment if you want.
the full analysis on any of these um, stocks that are on our watch list. Okay. Our next one, Hershey Company. Hershey Company, well, let's go back, Norfolk, Norfolk Southern. I didn't speak about why we're watching them. We saw they moved up pretty decently two weeks ago. They didn't move up much this week, but they moved up a little. So we want to see what they're doing coming into the week. If they're moving up, we want to jump in. At the end of this video, when it comes to the end screen, you're going to see a video come up that says how to use this week's winning stocks. And it breaks down how you should be utilizing this video to take care of our, take advantage of opportunities in the market. I would strongly suggest that you watch that video so that you know the best way to utilize this um this week's winning stocks. So Hershey Company. And you're familiar with the Hershey bar, they sell a bunch of other candies and so forth, chocolate bars and so forth. Anyway, Hershey Company they're a three-star, top tier. They moved up a little two weeks ago, moved up a little again last week. Hershey Company, actually, you see I have November 16th here. That is the ex-dividend date. What that means is Hershey Company, they're currently $191 and 48 cents a share they are about to give a dividend and the dividend that they're going to give is a dollar 19 a share but in order for you to be eligible for that dividend you have to own this stock before not on november 16th before november 16th if you buy it on November 16th, you're getting in too late to get that late div that last dividend. But if you get it before November 16th, you're eligible for that dividend. Paycom. And Paycom was on our last week's list. It hadn't started moving up yet. But Paycom dropped, they're currently at $171.16, and overnight they dropped, I believe it was a Wednesday, they had a earnings report that didn't come out as favorable, and overnight they dropped like $90 a share. And this is a great company. It's a three star. But after the bad earnings report, they dropped $90 a share. And even though they hadn't started moving up yet, that was an opportunity enough for me. I didn't even wait for them to start moving up. I grabbed a few shares that same morning as soon as I heard that they dropped $90. Well, that was last week, and now we see this little green candle here, which means they've started moving up already. So, Paycom. Market access. They're not our top tier, but they're two stars. So they're our second tier. Notice two weeks ago they moved up a little. This week, it was sort of like a doji. A doji means it started in the beginning of the week going one way, then it went the other way, and it ended in about the same place where it started at. So we want to look at them going into this week to see what they're going to do. 
Camden National Corporation. They're an inex inexpensive stock, two stars. $32.22 a share. This week it was a doji. They ended in about the same place they started at. But look at three weeks ago, they moved up a little. And last week, it was a significant move. Or I should say the week prior to this last week. Then this last week, it's a doji. We want to see what they're going to do. Are they going to go down? Or are they going to continue to move up? Genuine Parts Company. Genuine Parts Company, they're... They deal in auto parts. They're a two-star. They're our second tier. They moved up decently two weeks ago. Just moved up a little this week. This past week. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. Kelanova. Kelanova is actually, if anybody remembers Kellogg, Kellogg used to make cornflakes. And not only did they make cornflakes, they made a bunch of other snack foods. They made some health foods. They made a bunch of cereal. As a matter of fact, if you went to the supermarket and walked down the cereal aisle, Maybe half of the cereals in the cereal aisle was made by them. Well, things started happening in the market. And I mean the supermarket. One is that people aren't buying cereal the way that they used to. Cereal is sort of getting out of style. So cereal is suffering. With their health food division... It wasn't really taking off. But the thing that was taking off was their snack division. So Kellogg actually decided that what they were going to do is split up the three separate divisions into three separate companies. The cereal division will form one company. The snack division will form another company. And the health food division will form a, a third company. Well, the snack food division is Kelanova. The other two divisions, maybe which form separate companies now, they may sell because those are underperforming divisions. But the most performing division was what turned into Kelanova. And we see that Kelanova now, um, if you, I don't have analysis for Kelanova because it's a new company. But the new company is from Kellogg. And I actually do have the analysis on Kellogg just before the company split up. So if you want that analysis, leave it in the comments and I will drop it in the channel. In any event, two weeks ago moved up a little less. The prior week, they moved up a little. This week was a doji. They ended up in the same place that they started. So we want to see what they do moving into this next week. Quest Diagnostics. And they're a laboratory. Well, some states you live in, you go to the doctor, they need blood. And they may take blood right there in the office. Some of you are fortunate enough to have nurses and so forth who know what they're doing. 
and they can draw your blood, and some of them they'll stick you 20 times before they finally get the blood out. But some states, they don't take blood in the doctor's office. They will give you a prescription to go to a lab to get that blood drawn. And these labs do other health tests as well, or screening tests or whatever. Well, that's what Quest Diagnostics does, right? And we see Quest Diagnostics, it moved up the prior two weeks, but last week it took a little drop, but not much. We want to see what they do going into this next week. MKC, McCormick and Company. And you see that they have no stars, but for, but I, I decided to leave them in this video or put them in this video. If you want me to leave their analysis in the channel, I can do that. Just let me know through the comments. Um, I, would, I guess I was a little nostalgic for them because I own their products and maybe so do you. Look at, if you have black pepper in your house, look at the can or whatever that the black pepper comes in. And it may be made by McCormick. Any event, they moved up the prior two weeks and they moved up a little this last week, but not much. LKQ Corporation. The prior two weeks have been positive weeks, only this last one by very little. It's almost a doji, um, and that's LKQ Corporation. We want to see what they do coming into the next week. Now, their ex-dividend date is November 15th, which means you have to own them by November 14th in order to be eligible for this dividend, which is only 30 cents a share. But the, the stock is only $44.83 a share. PepsiCo, they, every, almost everybody would have heard of Pepsi. So PepsiCo makes Pepsi and a bunch of other snacks. They've had a slightly positive week this past week. They were decently positive the week before. We want to see what they do coming into this week. They're $166.92 a share. Middle B Corporation. And they're, they're more so into manufacturing, but that the things that they manufacture, it seems, and you can check them out, but it seems they make, they manufacture or make the type of equipment, cooking equipment and so forth that you would find in restaurants. The last two weeks, they moved up slightly. They're a three star. Our top tier. Value Line. Value Line is a periodical. They um, give information about investing and so forth. Um, I'm talking about numbers here strictly. I when, when you look at my analysis, I do analysis on the financials of the company. Well, Value Line provides that information as well, but they also provide news information. What kind of news has been happening with the company throughout the year? And we see they moved up, well, the last four weeks. Ulta Beauty. And their name speaks for itself. They're in the beauty 
industry three stars and they moved up the prior two weeks and this week slightly not much but slightly so we want to watch what they do going into this next week commercial metals company they moved back they're one star they moved back this last week, but not much. They sort of like held their ground and they was positive the previous two weeks. We want to see what kind of play they make going into this week. Are they going to move up? Or are they going to keep moving back there at $45.18 a share? Goldman Sachs. And we know them. They're in the financial industry. They moved up significantly two weeks ago, but last week they sort of held their ground, but they moved back a little, slightly. They are currently at $325.51 a share, and they are going ex-dividend On November 29th, the dividend will be for $2.75 a share, but you have to own it by November 28th to be eligible for the dividend. You have to buy it by November 28th at the latest. U-Haul. I'm assuming we're all familiar with U-Haul, but I don't know. Maybe they're stronger in some states than others. Maybe some states, they're not even existing. But U-Haul, they do storage. They also have trucks that you can rent. They are a two-star. They're currently at $52.75 a share. They moved up the previous week. But last week, it was sort of a doji. They ended in the same place that they started it about. And like I said, they're a two-star. We want to see what they do going into this next week. HSIC, Henry Shine. And I believe they're in the medical field. First, I thought this was a place that paints cars, but I guess I was wrong when I did my analysis and in the end I checked the profile it seems they're medical so but in any event this last week they they recently fell to the 52 week low or to the annual low price and this last week they moved up a little but we sort of saw it coming because even this week which was two weeks ago was red, they moved down, they moved down, they moved down, but they pushed down here. And by the end of the week, they sort of started to push back up already and stopped right here. Then when they came into the last week, they started to push down a little, but came back up to where they started from and pushed back up slightly. We want to see what they do going into this week. Okay, so that's our watch list, or that's our winning stocks on our watch list this week, guys. Um, Shortly you should see the video that you can go to to see how best to use this this week's winning stocks. And... um, I look forward to speaking to you guys in in our next video and also letting you know what's up and coming for next week at the end of this week. Okay, guys, have a great day.